how you doing? How you doing? I can't do that well enough to uh, to even attempt. Welcome to White Paper Popcorn. I'm Mike. I'm Diana at Central Park. And I'm Jen. We're in the same apartment together, but we're not really. <laughs> Jen, who's been on a couple of times on my favorite episode, which is Would You Rather? You can go back through our list and go find the Would You Rather we did with Jen. She has ears on her eyebrows. It's hilarious. (laughs) Go find that video. My favorite one. We are in the Friends locations today to talk about the Friends reunion show that is coming to HBO Max on May 27th. However, there's been some uh, controversy over this episode because it's not an episode of the show per se it's just a reunion of the actors getting together with some guest stars some of the guest stars have been on the show some of them haven't which is kind of weird to me i don't know why they pick people who haven't so the list of guest stars that i got were maggie wheeler who plays janice james michael tyler who plays gunther reese witherspoon who plays jill tom Selleck, who plays richard and christina pickles and elliot gould as Jack and Judy Geller. But they also have people like David Beckham, Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, um, to name a few who are going to also be part of this episode. That just seems like a like a, a famous person hit. Like, you know what's really gonna get people to watch this? Justin Bieber and some other people. It's like, we're gonna watch it because it's friends. We're not gonna watch yeah. it because you've put yeah. other people onto it. You don't need that. Yeah, we want to see the people who belong to the show, not these other random people talking about, I mean, maybe what the show meant to them and whatever, but they're not even giving us an episode or a movie. They're just talking. So why do we want to listen to these people who aren't related to the show? So, Which is the part we really want. We don't even, don't even talk to, don't even talk to Justin Bieber. Don't talk to each other. Do a show. <laughs> yeah. Friends? So that, brings us, so that brings us to tonight's episode. Uh, where we have decided that we're going to make up plots for a way better idea for a reunion show that they could have done. Maybe. So us are going to take turns. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, <laughs> so I don't know what my... take mind. turns um, describing your idea of a plot line for a reunion friends show. And then you guys can judge who do you think is best and which one would you want to watch. I was driving in the car the other day and I was coming up with this idea in my head and I was just smiling from ear to ear just like picturing the characters and whatever I don't know if I'll be able to explain it the way that I that I pictured it but here we go (laughs) so we're gonna start separately with all of our friends so Rachel and Ross and Emma are flying in from Paris and Joey, so they're on the plane and they're talking about life and what, you know, what they've been kind of up to maybe. I mean, it might be a little exposition-y and forced, but I don't know, just somehow. Then we'll see Joey um, getting ready to get on an airplane or whatever with his like hot model wife <laughs> um, to, to come. So they're all coming to New York. We'll see Chandler and Monica and the twins getting ready and they'll be just chatting about life and you'll be just seeing them and and what their life is now. And they're all coming together. Oh, Phoebe and Mike will have like a thousand million children (laughs) because she did say that she wants the Von Trapp family um, of of families. So they'll just have a bunch of kids and I think they'll probably just still live in the city. So they'll just be coming over and they're all going to meet at Central Perk before the wedding of Ben and girl Chandler. (laughs) (laughs) So they're they're all coming together for this big event of this wedding and they meet in Central Perk and Gunther's there and I don't know I was toying with the like idea of maybe it's closing which would be terribly sad Um, but then girl Chandler and Ben come in and they're just very excited I don't know why they come in before their wedding oh maybe it's the day before we'll say and they're like, oh, we just finished setting up our new apartment and we want to show everybody. And of course, they'll, they'll bring them up and it'll be the apartment. And that's where they're going to be living. And then at the end of the episode is the wedding. And you just see like they're all just happy. You'll see like um, Jack and Judy Geller and you'll see, you know, like just different people over the years who are there. Um, because I think that really connects being Ben and girl bang or girl chandler would be connecting like the family so they would all not all of them be there but a lot of them would be there janice of course would just weasel her way in somehow because that's just 
<laughs> oh, I also I also toyed with Joey being with Janice randomly. Like it'd just be this big shocking <laughs> surprise because she said that she's gone out with two of them and she was coming for Joey. So I thought that that would be a really funny <laughs> twist. <laughs> That That's somehow he together. just didn't like her. Oh, I don't think that he could have made that leap with her. <laughs> I don't think so either. So the end would just be like them all at the wedding, and they'd just be, you know, be panning across all of them, and they'd just be so happy and lovey, and they'd be at this wedding and super uber cheesy, and just getting everyone together that way. That's cool. I like it. I like it. It's better than my idea, but uh, I, I do. <laughs> I didn't even think about like having them get together for their kid, like one of their kids' wedding. So that was that was a good way to bring them together. I have a different idea to bring them together, but that was a good one. I want to leave Diana's right where it was. Uh, I thought I thought it was great. Definitely a bigger hit than mine, especially with the throwback with Janice and Joey, just because that's funny and it's a great throwback to just a one-liner back in the day, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. I have mine situated around it's Chandler and Monica's 20th wedding anniversary. And funnily enough, I thought about this. I was like, hey, what big event could could bring them all together? And I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm thinking Chandler and Monica would be having their 20th wedding anniversary this year. So I looked it up and it's actually this day. May oh. 7th is today. Happy anniversary. anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary, <laughs> Chandler and Monica. <laughs> Crazy, right? That's awesome. That's today. It aired 20 years ago. I'll have it start with like Chandler is in the car with um, his daughter Erica and she's 17. Now the twins would be about 17 now. And she's kind of put off learning how to drive because she was really nervous that he's convinced her. So he's like teaching her how to drive and she's like really nervous. And it's like, um, and Joey's in the back seat because he's flown in from um, Hollywood with his wife, Alex, who is, who he was kind of his love interest at the end when Joey ended was um, Alex. So him and Alex have come, he's in the back seat while Erica's learning to drive and Monica calls and asks Chandler to, to do an errand for their 20th wedding anniversary um, party. Um, I have said Monica and Phoebe and Mike opened up a restaurant together because Mike plays the piano and Monica's the cook and stuff, so they've got a restaurant. So maybe he's going to the restaurant to like pick something up there from Phoebe, who's working, and talks about like uh, the plans. And he, she talks about her older daughter. I figured she'll have an older daughter that's 16. Then she had triplets of her own, two boys and a girl that are 14, and a surprise, ba a surprise baby five years ago. So she had a baby at 50. <laughs> and uh, after five so that's her and Mike had five children all together and uh, Joey has two girls that are 11 and 13 and Alex they have that so and Rachel and Ross I also said funny that they went that they moved to Paris so they stayed in New York for a while um, until Ben got a little bit older and then they moved to Paris so that Rachel can still pursue her career over there so they're flying back and um, so Monica and Chandler have a party planner that's been, that's been planning their anniversary, but she gets sick. So then her assistant has to take over who is Janice. <laughs> I, I felt that coming. <laughs> <laughs> so Janice shows up, of course, it's a big, a big surprise. Um, we learned that Gunther opened up his own coffee shop in Paris, followed oh. Rachel, and he just <laughs> lived away from her. So he opened up his own coffee shop over in Paris. Rachel is my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, so they all get together for for their wedding anniversary. That's really fun. And you know what? I thought about I thought about Phoebe having triplets as well. <laughs> That's why I, <laughs> I thought about that as well. That she would just she's just so fertile. She just has triplets all the time. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's so fun. This our, is our, new really winner, hard. our new winner so far. I mean, and Jen's, Jen's a, a, a writer, so she is so good at putting stories and things together. And I mean, we even saw that when we played uh, Flicker Fake, when she wrote the Flicker Fake. Go back and watch that. She was amazing. Yeah, go back so. and watch Flicker Fake. <laughs> a game we invented. Sci-fi. Sci-fi Flicker Fake. The hard part is like, you guys know a lot of these backstories, these characters. I was never a huge Friends fan. I did I did enjoy it. Um, I just wasn't a biggest fan as you guys are. So my building a story is got to be with my not so much knowledge and just see where it branches off to. 
So excuse my maybe not knowing what happened in the last couple episodes, but no, here we go. Mine starts at Central Perk, and Rachel is in there with Gunther, the uh, the bartender guy, the uh, the server. Mm -hmm. um, she's in there talking about, oh man, I can't believe this 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 happened. She seems very distraught. She's very upset, and uh, she and she goes, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. And, and Gunther looks over and goes, well, why don't you? Why don't you call everybody and and have them come here? And she doesn't know, but she, you know she makes all our phone calls, and then most of them come, and then you have to get somebody else to like. Chandler doesn't come, but uh, Joey ends up calling Chandler and being like, "Man, you got to get here quick!" And then you find out that the the apartment building where they all lived and grew up is being demolished. Uh, nobody wanted to buy it, and you know it's kind of a little bit more run down, but you know so it's being demolished. So they all want to go to it for their last time and see you know just kind of reminisce over over the old days um so they go into the apartments they start sharing stories they go into different parts of the house and they share their stories and you can do throwbacks to the old episodes that way it still kind of fits with, with what they're doing where it's like we're just going to talk about our favorite ones it's like we do that but in an episode style so go to one of those where you do flashbacks. You go into different parts of the, of the apartment building, the roof, I'm sure they've been there, the staircase, all of it, right? You do all the little bits of all the apartment building. And then they, and in the middle of the story, uh, Chandler um, leaves for a little bit. He goes, you know what guys, I gotta, I gotta go. So he leaves for a little bit while they're reminiscing and they're sad. Um, and then he comes back with, uh, with some papers and says, uh, so you know what guys i just heard they're not gonna actually demolish the building uh and they're like what why he goes i uh just bought it <laughs> um so chandler now owns the whole apartment building and luckily two of their children uh moved to new york to pursue large jobs and the kids their kids move into the apartments uh up top so you get a couple of the girls and a couple of the boys and the other one and it kind of just builds that story but it just ends there right the kids so you, been, like imagine that like their kids kind of yeah take yeah live the same life yeah that's cool mike that's a good idea i like that you brought like the flashbacks and, and that you're kind of taking their idea but making it better we would all love to see them just kind of sit around and hug each other and love each other make it into something good where they all act and they have a good time with it and you know make a story that we can all go oh <laughs> yeah that that's what i had for an episode it's just the feeling yes. that it's just the feeling that it will keep going, right? The next generation will keep it going, even though we don't see it and it's not a thing. It's just that feeling of like, and here we go, you know. When you said like, I'm sure they've been up on the roof and in the staircase, it just brought back like episodes where like the one that um, Chandler, I mean uh, Joey and Ross get stuck up on the roof and they're like trying to get down the fire escape. You know, when we talked about face to face, I don't think we thought it all the way through. And then um, in the staircase, when um, the the prank one where Ross throws a mannequin, like a fake, a dummy down the stairs and Rachel thinks he's falling down the stairs. <laughs> they actually, um, she didn't know that was gonna happen. So her reaction to that, that scene was actually um, Jennifer Aniston's reaction, thinking that that uh, David Schwimmer fell down the stairs. Really? <laughs> and she yeah, is, yeah, yeah. She's, she's very panicked. Or them eating eating the cheesecake that fell on the floor and Joey yeah. is like, what are we having here? He just like takes out a fork from his pocket and starts like. <laughs> really, what are we having? <laughs> I was gonna say that I was going to, because of the divorce rate, really probably one of them would have been divorced by now. But then I was like, uh, Ross kind of covered that. He got divorced three times. That takes care of the divorce, right? <laughs> yeah, he's got it. For yeah, the, no for one else has to. <laughs> I love marriage. Seriously? You divorce -o? And you know who was missing from the lineup of the reunion show is Paul Rudd. Unless I just missed that he's going to be there, but I didn't oh, see his name. Oh, yeah. That's sad. Because I love Mike Wait. Hannigan. Well, why don't you tell her my name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Like he and Phoebe were just so great together. And yeah. Charlie Sheen. He was in one episode, yep. Oh yeah, with the chicken box. <laughs> yeah, the chicken box, right? I was like, was he in the show? <laughs> well, that wasn't easy. So is there anyone else that is not in the reunion show that you would love to see? Maybe um, Ross's ex-wife. <gasps> oh, Carol, yeah. Oh, well, is it 
what we thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Would she be at the wedding too, if it was mine? Yeah, because it would be um, Ben. Marcel. What is that? That would be Marcel. Aw, Marcel. Mar Oh, would be dead, but maybe Marcel's off. Ask the monkey some questions from beyond the grave, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> have, have a new one in and just ask him questions, because either way, you don't know what he's saying. That's true. <laughs> I think we all came up with some really, really great ideas. So someday, maybe they can take one of our ideas and run with it. <laughs> just know in the comments down below what ones you guys liked better, or write your own. How many words can you have in a comment? Forever? <laughs> Whatever. Write your own story about what you think friends should do at the end. Yeah, we want to hear it. They don't know we know they know we know they know. <laughs> it's Miss Chenan Bong. We were on a break! <laughs>